Welcome, my name is Mike Huddy and this is Clover Trading. Today we're gonna to talk about the five things you need to know as a beginner trader to get started. For me personally, the first thing that I want to know is what is my niche and how do I find it? In the stock market, there are tons of different areas where you can find possibilities of making money. But imagine going to the ocean and casting a wide net into the darkness. What are you gonna pick up? If you're looking for tuna, you might find sturgeon, you might find stingrays, you might find starfish. And if you only want tuna and you're catching that wide of a net, you're gonna come up with a bunch of random examples, right? And the same thing can be true in the stock market. What are you looking for is really the question I'm posing to you? What is your niche and how are you going to find specific stocks that layer into that fold and into that mold? For me personally, I like small cap. I like OTCs. I like pump and dumps. I like scams because I can recognize the price action almost immediately. I said, that's the thing that is being manipulated because I can tell from the volume, the price action, the percent gains. And that's the thing that I think all beginners need to find something that they can focus in on and continually search for every day in their scams. They got to know exactly what that is. What are you looking for? My tip is work hard. And what do I mean by that? A lot of my friends that wanted to get into trading after I've been successful said, I want to trade. I want this freedom. I want to make money, etc." And I see them and they put in two hours per day, three hours per day. You need to eat, sleep and breathe trading. And if you're not eat, sleeping and breathing trading, don't even try. If you aren't watching all these videos that we're producing, why are you even here trying and listening to me right now? You really have to work super hard. I traded through strep, traded through mono, all my friends. I've seen how hard they've worked. Dominic for example, he was waking up at 6 a.m. meditating. He was also journaling. He was doing deep breathing. And to do all this stuff, it's not easy. And right now I'm waking up at 5 a.m. to trade and going to bed at 9, 10 p.m. And nobody will do that. And what is key is to stay at it. A lot of people will start trading for six months, 12 months, a year and a half, and they're not going to find consistency. But you've all seen that one picture where the guy is mining, right? And he's mining and mining and mining, and he gives up right before the diamonds. And you never know when the hot market, when your cycle's coming. And if you just keep at it and you dedicate yourself to this craft, eventually you're going to hit some type of cycle and you're going to grow. And then from there, if you just maximize and optimize performance, you can take it as far as you want. And getting back to it, it is all hard work. Another thing that I think is really important for beginners to focus on when they're first starting is risk and risk management. For me, I always took a big part in understanding dollar risk. And before any trade I ever took, I understood exactly how much I was going to lose based off of where on the chart I was going to cut under. And just basically going off of the perspective of what level is the level that underneath I don't want to be long anymore or be short anymore. And that kind of got me to understand that there's only one trade to take on it and this is exactly how much I'm going to lose. And by focusing on risk management, you put yourself ahead of so many other traders who put themselves in positions to blow up. Another thing I think is really important is understanding risk reward and not necessarily something you're going to understand right from the beginning because you haven't had enough experience to understand exactly what the play is going to look like every single time. But giving yourself an idea based off previous levels of support and resistance of where you could anticipate the stock going to, whether you're short or you're long, where you could expect price targets to be. So focusing on where you're going to cut the stock and how much exactly you're going to lose and focusing on where you're going to sell or cover the stock and understanding if that number even at a conservative rate makes any sense at all. The biggest thing I think you need to know as a trader is that less is more, right? There's, there's so much opportunity out there. There's so many setups. You see so many traders trading all these different things. But the reality is you only need one setup to be profitable. And that's typically, I mean, every trader I've personally known that is profitable, that's made millions, they started with just one setup, one way in the market to make money. And of course, did they stay like that? No, of course not. They they went to learn five, seven, eight, maybe even 10 plus setups, right? But they started with one, okay? It's the same thing as a language. You're not going to learn 10 languages once. If you want to learn five, great. You start with one, you learn two, then three, then four, and it's a process. And the more you get into that and the better you get at it, you should be surprised how much money you can make over time. And again, this is a long thing. It took me probably three to four months just to learn one setup. And it was another eight months before that just to realize I needed to learn one setup. Don't take eight months like me to learn that you needed just one setup. Take it from me now and start on one and get good at it. And from there, a year later, you're going to learn two. Then year three, you're going to learn three. Year four, learn four. And then before you know it, you, you've made more money than you'd ever make anywhere else. You'd be profitable more than you ever imagined. And it's going to be just the, the best feeling. And I promise you that's, that's almost almost how every single profitable trader I've ever heard, it's how they've done it. So I think you should do it that way too. The most important thing for me that I wish I knew when I first started trading is how to walk away and how to control those emotions. Trading is complex. It's incredibly personal. After all, 
We put our own capital on the line, risking our own net worth to make a potential profit. You're always going to have to deal with the emotions. Like this is your net worth. You don't want to lose this money. But if you know that there are probabilities and risk rewards that can be assigned to these certain setups, then you can't make money. But in the stock market, nothing is guaranteed. Things can go crazy all the time. You can always lose. There will always be that systematic risk factor in there. I want to talk about how I deal with emotions and how I improve myself. So for example, if I lose on a ticker two times, I just walk away. It is much better to leave the stock market down $5,000 than to just fight again, 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 be down 15, 20, $25,000 by the end of the day. That is a terrible feeling. That's how I blew up my first account. 